back everyone i'll go and show you exactly how you can change your app colors on any iphone now luckily for you this is a very basic process and it really doesn't take too much time so the first thing you want to do is you actually want to go ahead and make your way over to your internet browser whichever browser you have and you want to find your app icons so what i would recommend doing is just typing in like iphone app something like iPhone app icon aesthetic, something like that. You know, it doesn't have to be the exact same thing. And all you want to do is find some icons that you like. So typically you can scroll through here. There's like different icon packs like this. You can simply just download them. So all you want to do is download them into your iPhone, you know, internet, whatever. So in this case, you can just hold this down. You can just save it if you want to add to photos. I already have some icons that I can use. So once you have some icons that you want and they're saved to your photos app, all you want to do is open up your shortcuts application. It looks like this. If you don't have it installed, you can just install it. It's a free application by Apple. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and open it up. Now I'm already past this, so I'm going to go ahead and reopen it just like so. And you'll probably come into this page or you'll come into this page or something like that. All you want to do is go under my shortcuts right here and you want to click the plus button that's on the top right corner. So you want to go and click there. You come into this panel. Now what you want to do is you want to find this open app little option. Now if you don't see that, you can click down here and you can just search up open app and you'll basically find the same thing. So open app and you want to find this exact one under scripting. So you want to go and click there. And once you do that, you want to go and click on that app icon right here. So you want to click on app and you want to find the application that you want to go ahead and open. So in this case, let's say we want to open up the app store. We're going to go and click on the app store right there. And then we can go ahead and click on the little settings icon up there. You can name this if you want to, but you don't really have to. So all you want to do is click on the settings icon. You'll come here and you want to click on add to home screen. Now, when you do this, you'll basically be able to come into this page. Now you want to click here and you want to rename this application to whatever it was, but you want to click there and you can either choose photo or choose file. So if we go and click on choose photo, we can choose that photo that we found earlier, but we can try cropping in and you know trying to get that application exact in the middle. It does take a little trial and error. Sometimes you can try it and it may work out. In this case, it may not work out perfectly, but it's still worth a shot. So all you want to do is align that perfectly, click choose, and you should get something like this. Again, it doesn't, you know, this image isn't the perfect one, but we can click add. And now look what happens. It'll go ahead and add that icon right into this center page right here. And you can open it up and it should take you straight into the you know app store. Now you can also do the same thing with these other applications too. But again, that's pretty much how you do it. If you have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.